We're having a fucking heat wave in March. Look, I've even got my shorts on. It's that hot. So because it's so warm today and it's beautifully sunny outside, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to unbox the brand new fragrance from Isamiyaki, Lodice Summer 2022 edition. Whew getting hot in here. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. Woo! I've got to be honest with you, I don't own much from Isamiyaki. The only one I do own is Noir Ambre, which is beautiful, but about as far away from a freshie as you can get. So I don't know why I don't own more from the brand, because whenever I've been in store and smell them, I've always been impressed and they always get pretty positive reviews online. I have never tried one of their summer editions, I think they release uh, a summer Lodice every year with a different artistic design on the front. And I've got to say, they've never really interested me too much. When I look at the note breakdown, I always just think, oh, same old citrusy, maybe tropical, fruity sort of summer tie-in. And I've always felt that they're going to be a little bit forgettable. But with this one, I saw the notes and I thought, hmm, I'm going to give that a try. So let's get this thing unboxed and give it a sniff. And we got a, a sample of uh, one million. I love how they uh, throw really different samples into these boxes. You know, things that you may not have tried that you might want to discover. Anyway, one million. There we go. That can go in the bin. Here it is. Oh, what a beautiful design on the box. It is. This is designed by Kevin Lukder, I think you say. I'm not particularly familiar with his work, but I think he's known for this sort of blue and white artwork which he's uh, he's put on the box let's crack this open and here's the bottle reveal oh oh that's nice clear glass with blue writing i mean i like it i like the artwork on, on there i think it I think it's pretty cool it looks like a summer fragrance bottle i guess i actually picked this up from par from dreams but it's also available now at Natino here in the UK for a freaking good price of £33 for this massive 125ml bottle. Now that either means it's cheap to make and it's not going to smell good or it's just a good deal. So we'll, we'll find out. Let me read out the notes for you and uh, explain why I was so interested in this fragrance. In the top, there's Aquil, which I'm assuming is some sort of aqueous aroma chemical, bergamot, citrus fruit. In the mid, basil and jasmine. In the base, fir, pine and cypress. And the fragrance category is aromatic, woody. And I'm sorry, but I've also got to read the absolute BS marketing copy that comes with with all these fragrances. Isamiyaki Lodice Pour Homme Summer Edition Eau de Toilette for Men will help you reveal the masculinity, strength and courage hidden deep inside you. This fragrance is brimming with manly power, brimming with it, and will perfectly enhance your character every step you take. Not every other step, every step you take. Anyway, let me tell you what I'm hoping to get from this fragrance and why I picked this one up. So. When it comes to summer freshes, yes, we get we get citrus, usually combined with some woods. But what I'm interested in with this one is the fact that we've got some greener woody notes. So fir, pine and cypress. I really love those notes in a summer fragrance. What I'm hoping to get from this is a pine forest on a sun-kissed Mediterranean island. I want all the tree sap, I want woods, I want green stuff, I want refreshing citruses. What I'm going to do is have a quick first impressions now and then I'm going to go away for a few hours wear this out in the sunshine and then I will come back and let you know what I think of the fragrance yes we are getting pine very aromatic very oh yeah pine this is oh pine trees really nice oceanic sea salt ozonic airy quality to it it's more aromatic than I thought actually I think I'm really picking up on the the jasmine in there and I wanted a little bit of that herb garden with the basil in there and, I, and I'm getting that herbs Again, go really nicely with citruses and with the fir notes, pine notes. So when it comes to this fir in the pine, I wouldn't say it's like a really thick, resinous, sappy pine, which is sort of what I was hoping for, but you're still getting a really lovely pine note, but it's quite fresh and airy. The fragrance doesn't have too much weight to it, but I think it maybe has enough to be okay in the performance. We will see as the day goes on. I will come back and update you on the performance. But so far, it's bright. It's punchy, it's aromatic, it's it's piney. It's a really nice version of a summer fragrance that isn't just citruses. There's some citruses there, some nice 
crisp citruses. I wouldn't say they're too sweet and juicy. I wouldn't say they're too zingy and zesty, I guess, somewhere in the middle. I think the, the fir and the pine dominate this fragrance, so I think the fragrance seems to be built around those notes. So they are the hero notes so far in the opening. Yeah, this transports me to that sun-kissed Mediterranean island, walking through a pine forest, maybe finding a little, little bar somewhere in the forest that you can have a nice cool drink in. Really enjoying this so far. If this lasts, if this can remain as punchy and as strong as it seems off this initial spray, I think I'm gonna really enjoy this and it's gonna be a fragrance I will definitely be wearing a lot in the summer. And you know what, I think I could probably wear this both in the daytime and in the evening. And you know, the, the marketing copy was right. It says that you can just wear it all day, every day. Okay, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I think it's a solid summer release. I think it smells different enough. It doesn't smell too designery and synthetic. It doesn't smell like it's loaded with ambroxin to be as mass appealing as possible. It's got some class to it and it smells nice and natural to me. So I'm gonna go away, wear this for a little bit and report back to you. Okay, we're back. I have been off for a few hours wearing this fragrance to see how it dries down and it dries down really nicely actually. It does fade. It's not the strongest fragrance in the world. I'm getting around five to six hours out of it, which I think is perfectly acceptable for a very refreshing summer type fragrance. The pine fur records do remain, in fact, it stays quite linear, I would think, through most of its life, this fragrance, which is fine because I think it smells great and it doesn't necessarily have to develop, but it doesn't change too much. In the far dry down, it does start to fade a little bit. And as it does so, this quite nice, sweet, woody, musky quality comes out. Still with some of the herbal accords and a bit of that pine kicking around in there. So overall, really nice scent, fantastic, very, invigorating and refreshing opening stays pretty nice and keeps on projecting throughout the mid and then it does fade and becomes very close to the skin after maybe three to four hours in terms of performance it's fine it's okay i would say it's decent for a fresher fragrance for me this would definitely be a casual daytime summer fragrance you could absolutely wear this in the evenings as well. I think it's a, a smart and classy enough fragrance. But for me personally, I would go for this in the daytime when I'm out for five or six hours. I think this would be absolutely perfect. It doesn't lean too youthful. It doesn't lean too old. It's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. So absolutely anyone could get away with wearing this. I've mentioned the price already, but I'll just mention it again since it is such good value. 33 pounds at the moment uh, for this big 125 mil bottle. I'm never gonna get through this. So I think 33 pounds is a good deal. You're not getting many nice smelling, decent performing, Designer fragrances, 33 pounds for 125 mil. So well done, Isamiyaki. I'm not sure if that's just because that's a discounted price, but that's the price I got it for from Par From Dreams. That's the price that Natino are selling it for. I'm not sure about availability anywhere else in the world. At the moment, as of filming this video in the UK, it was just Natino, although I'm sure that it will be available in more places. Overall, I'm really impressed with this fragrance. The quality, it smells great. The blend, the composition, I think it's all really well done. I love the aromatic, herbal quality. I love the piney fur aspects to the fragrance as well. So it's doing a lot of things that I really like. I think this is a good release from Isimiyake. Even better when you factor in that low cost, which I think makes it affordable for pretty much everyone. Good bottle, good price, good juice. Can't say fairer than that. I think this is a hit from Isimiyake this summer. If you're after a new summer fragrance and you don't want to spend too much money and you want to smell good, you won't go far wrong with this one. If you've tried this fragrance, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you've tried any of Isimiyake's previous summer releases, let me know, were they were they any good or were they not so good? Uh, I'm not quite sure where this lands in terms of the summer flankers from the brand. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please give me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you do all that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.